Wurbach. Sorry, I just wanted to sit here for a minute because this song is fucking great and it just got like new instrumentation. It makes me feel real nice every time I listen to it. It's been a while though, hasn't it? Brenda's been hard at work cooking. And now it's time to see the fruits of his labor. Chapter 25X Erkelen. Erkelen, Blair's homeland, and the last respite before the storm. Nearly a year has passed since the events that began this journey. As Elcorian stated, Erkelen has not once been touched by Dolts. Blan must now prepare to make her stand against Dolts for the sake of this homeland. We're here. I'm sure you have much to do, so I won't keep you. Just come find me when you're ready to plan a defense. I appreciate it. It's been so very long, but I'm finally here. This might be our last chance to safely stock up on supplies. And I certainly should check in with on everybody, if I can. If this place is untouched, the vault might... It might be worth a check. No more hesitation. Onwards. This... is the very last preparations map you'll ever get. And as a disclaimer... You see this shit? This is because, um, every fucking unit has a conversation. So, as a disclaimer, since I am not insane enough to stick together a total of three hours of gameplay, there will be no gameplay. Not in this fucking video. This is just going to be us talking to our units and getting a hand in the situation. So if that's an issue for you, uh, honestly, I would like to think that you wouldn't skip the video, but I won't blame you. You are free to leave. Because boy howdy, we are going to be here a while. In any case, the first thing we need to do before we actually get into those conversations is actually sort out our stat boosters. Which we did buy a long while ago. And well, it's time to finally put them into action. Vladimir did actually get a buff to his speed cap literally like three days ago or something. Which is great because uh, now I can just kind of... Do this. Uh, I don't know. Let's just go real la, real la shield. Where the fuck is Apocrypha? I know I'm going. I know I'm going to have fun with that. Which means I now get like a 34 speed Nos tank with 30 defense. Uh, you, you see this, right? You're seeing this. Yeah, that's gonna be funny. But yeah, it's been a while. I've honestly been looking forward to this. A lot. When I say that Team GC is genuinely one of my most, like, one of the hacks I have been looking forward the most to actually getting back to, I do genuinely mean it. It's just... Mmm. Mmm. It just hits different. Anyways, uh, that's wings done. Uh, rings are done. We need to give one piece of uh, La Cocaina Colombia to Avon, I think? Unless I can find a better use, I don't think so. But yeah, I'm gonna like put a timestamp for prep, so if you want to go over to the conversations, uh, go ahead, because this is going to be me rambling for a bit while I get my stat boosters in order. But yeah, man. I really have wanted to see how the story goes from this point onward, honestly. Because, like, some people say that the Team GC story is not one of its finer points, but I don't know, I disagree. 
The thing is, I can understand where they're coming from because TMG's plot is relatively simple by Fire Emblem standards, but a plot doesn't need to be overtly com complex to ha to have my to enrapture me and have my attention. It really doesn't. That was never said to be a requirement. I think where Team GC truly shines, as many would probably agree, is its characters. Its cast is fucking phenomenal, almost, really. Hmm. Uh, who do I give my last Draco shield? Alright, uh, Kenneth gets it for the bit. <laughs> yeah, boy! Woo! Ah. Man. Alright, uh... I'm gonna have to sort out, like... I guess we could give you the... The pistol cyclone? Does anyone else really need it? I guess Cassius? Hmm. Hold the shaman! Uh, oh, right, um, uh, what changes are there? Oh, yeah, uh, wait, not Tobias, what's the other guy? Zachariah's got a new portrait, uh, thanks, Gold, I believe. Saw her, her working on that a while ago. And thanks to Redner's hard work, we did finally get our hands on this fucked up monstrosity. This is meant to show up in the convoy after the fucking library chapter if you complete the objective and don't let, like, more than two books die. But because my game is somehow really fucked, which, you know, is far for the course at this point, it just didn't fucking show up. So, uh, here we fucking are. <laughs> now, uh, Kenneth sure has... This fucking thing. <laughs> but yeah, really, um, what else is there to talk about? Oh yeah, he did get a new portrait, but that wasn't obvious enough. Oh yeah, S-Ranks at the... Fucked up S-Ranks have been reworked, like Morningstar. You see how they have the yellow numbers? This means that they work similarly to Cerulean Coast preferred weapons, where they regenerate after each map. So Morningstar has been unfortunately put on a leash. God damn it, Retina. I, I will fucking find you someday. Honestly, it's for the best if we're being honest with ourselves. But I did like having an unlimited view snook to kill everything in my path. With little to no effort. But perhaps that speaks a bit more to, um... My personality. Rather than the practicality of game balance. Which I think is reasonable. Okay, Estelle. So, do you still need the live juice? Actually? Hmm. Okay, well, we'll put that on void for now. Actually, just to make sure we don't run out of space, I'm going to have other people hold on to the growth boosters. Okay, uh, oh, we have soul, actually. Who the fuck do we give soul? That's a good question. Uh, Zeke, maybe? Does he really need it, though? Does he get anything out of it? He does have opportunist. Um, no, you already have soul. Uh, hmm. This is a tough one, actually. Uh, tentatively, I think I might just put it online. Okay, honestly, I might just give it to Cassius because that sounds funny. Yeah, that just sounds funny. It's Cassius. <laughs> okay, um, alright. I guess while we're here, we might as well just sort out a bit of our inventories. <laughs> hmm. Oh, you don't have S rank yet, what the fuck? Soon, I suppose. Okay, steal. 
bow, silver bow, killer bow. Hold on, what's in the armory? Oh yeah, we have up to gildeds. Okay, so I'm a little bit less worried about that. Okay, that's fantastic news, actually. So I don't need to worry too much about what we bring. I just need to worry a reasonable amount. Killing edge. Wait, yeah, I'm just gonna do this now because if I don't do this now, I will probably forget later. And frankly, I have been susceptible to that. Flame sword and uh, wait, wait. yeah, that's good enough. one giving him the items. Okay, is it... We'll cross that bridge when we get there. I do have some plans, at the very least. You can guarantee yourself that. Uh, wait, I should give you the Master Axe for a ranged option. Night ring. One on you. Uh, you don't really need it. Um, maybe Alexis or something. Actually, Sam. Sam. Oh, Sam already has one. Okay, that's good. That's good. Takes me a bit of trouble. That. Cancel. Cancel. Okay, I guess we're getting one to Cassius. This just got a little funnier. Carbon... We'll just give you a shitload of bows, I think. That looks good. Uh, um, that should be... all the units I actually plan to use. And then... Oh wait, we still have Hilbert to deal with. Hilbert! Um, wait, Earth Power. Yeah, yeah, I guess we could just give you. Okay, this is updated. It does not. Hmm. I know Thunder turns brave, so I'm just gonna give him Thunder, honestly. Fuck, I could've used a silver card for that, whatever. I don't need to be too, um... Too crazy about it. Uh, set up Zalus. Uh, Nocturne. Night Ring. Okay, well, I guess we'll just go crazy and do this. Actually, wait, hold on, 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 hold on. Um... Horatio? Wait, 
Hear me out. Three range with, fl with flying, counter plus, boom, battle, bing. Okay. Uh, should be more or less everything, I think. Oh, Frederick. Uh, god damn it. There's a lot of fucking use for that shit. Okay, that should be it. Now we need to clear out anything in the convoy we don't need. Uh, part of this is because the shops here actually do sell, um, like, goddess icon- no, Apistus icon, sorry. They do sell Apistus icons and secret books, and as you can imagine, I'm going to go fucking insane. You know, perfectly normal reaction. Who the fuck wants Canto Plus yet? Genuine question. That's the reason why it's here. Shit. Oh, well, I'm stupid. Uh, yeah. Wait. Yeah, we just do memento. Wait, wait, wait. What? What's the crit on that? What's the crit on that? Seven crits. Um, hmm. I'm not gonna be doing much with that, huh? I still have very mixed feelings about, like, Cassius and the Odium Gauntlet, I mean, because, like, you can't really do much with it, can you? Wait. Wait. Okay, Alexis, uh, put that shit back in the convoy, it's not going to help you. Brave Axe, well, that, that shit, that's his advice. Cassius. <laughs> Alright, buddy, we're fucking cooking. Wait, only 79? Oh, that's kind of shit. Statements dreamed up by the utterly fucking deranged, truly. Okay, that should be more or less everything for our needs. Based on the Excel sheet that I prepared, we will need a 17, 18, 35,000 to fulfill our needs. 35,000 to fulfill our statistical needs. And after that, it's just kind of fuck it, we ball. Hmm. Okay, let me just... Hmm. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, that's it. It's time for a lot of time. Wait, I forgot the silver card. Alright, that's been fixed. I forgot you couldn't access Kongo because free row moment. Ah, milady, I see you're well. Say, do you need some extra clothes? I've got an old robe I've long outgrown. Shame to have to get away. It's a real nice silk. But it's taking a space and I'm sure you'll wear it well. Or at the very least, you know someone will fit. Oh, that's just free? Oh, you should not have. That man we just fought, he was your brother, wasn't he? I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. It's sad, but I know I can handle it. Somebody will have to leave my house now. I still don't know if I could do it, but I have to try. 
Don't we have other summons that can leave? Uh, sorry, I just realized how that must have sent. I do. They would have been fine without me anyway. Maybe this is my chance for true freedom. Thank you, Lady Blair. This journey has taught me so very much. It hasn't always been easy, but it's been worth it. Hello, you... Hmm, nah, too generic. What? I... Who was that? No clue. Feels like I've seen her everywhere. I see... Are you ready for this? Ready for all-out war with some bastards? Why, yes I am! They won't know who or what hit them. I just realized how easy it'd be, it'd be to infiltrate a government. Is that what they wanted of me? Well, no matter. I'm in top bruising shape, Blair. The hubris curse shall fear the name you, you. I'm glad to hear. This has been quite the journey, child. Simone, I'd like to know. Answer me honestly. Did you do work at Drayen? Yes, that cat's out of the bag. Well, what do you wish to do with me? If you wish to enact some manner of justice upon me, I'm in no position to fight back, young lady. You're different from the rest. You didn't die claiming your virtues. Why? I guess you could say my answer to that is twofold. For one, any rational human would refuse to throw their life away. I suppose that's accusing to my other reason. We've done nothing. Not nothing in the sense of doing no deplorable actions. But nothing in the sense of what came of those actions. I'm sure your discussions with my colleague... Well, former colleague. But details, I'm sure, thanks to them. You already realized. Your people have suffered in the name of nothing. I'm not blameless. It is... A shameful mark on my record. Despite everything, I appreciate you recognizing your role in this. By the by, your friend, Lorel. Actually, I suppose that's not fully accurate anymore. But your romantic life is beyond my scope. But Arin, she is... I shall guide her to the power that is her birthright. It is the one iota of brilliance our organization has ever had. I might as well make something of those 18 endless years. What do you mean? She'll be alright. You have my word. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Lady Blair, do you need me? I'm just stopping by to say hello. I'm, stopping, I'm sorry for what Nielstrom did to your country. Hardly your doing, I'd say. I'm sure when you knew him, he always seemed like a reasonable man. Alas, he thought less than nothing of the Yggstra nation. It was but a trophy of dulce. That, and a treasury of loot. But things had to change. Do you know of Lazarus? I do. Well, did. We're the ones who brought an end to him. Thanks for that! But anyway, after his death, we found some correspondence. It appears he had been writing letters to someone in dulce. It seems like he was... Some manner of plant. He was to infiltrate Yggstra via our tournament. Then I guess somehow stirred chaos and disarray? I had no idea. Funny thing is, his loyalty still seemed quite tenuous. Judging by his final letter, he was planning on aiming his sights squarely at Dulce. Was Dulce trying to force this war from the beginning? What could they get out of provoking Yggstra? Your guess is as good as mine. In any case, that's a reason to bring this conflict to an end. No more intrigue. No more deception. No more wars. Just our nations. Coexisting. Growing. Flourishing. I quite like the sound of that. Still with us, I see. I don't think I'll ever fully get what you are. I think I've heard Surveil come up a few times by now. Is that you? Guess even if you knew... You couldn't tell me. But that's... that's alright. You've been dependable. It's strange to call you a friend, but I guess that's what you are. And I don't need to understand what you are, or where you came from, or why you're still here to understand that. Thanks, Svelte. 
Aww, svelte moment. What do you need of me? Nothing, I guess. Just wanted to check in. Hmm. I'll keep this brief. I'm fine. Do you expect more? I'm here to tie up loose ends. Then I'm returning straight home to Yigstra. No point in getting attached. Right. Of course. I appreciate you getting Tarquin out of the way. But Yigstra's far from stable now. Someone with strength will need to lead the way. And it's possible that somebody may be me. In that case, I wish you luck. I hope I won't need it. Thanks, though. I've kept an eye on the shops here. They stock almost everything you could ever want to buy. Especially the ones lined outside of your abode. There's truly no better place in the world to shop. So yeah, so if you have a dangerous mission ahead, don't underprepare. There's no reason to. LIES! I know there's a fucking secret shop! LIES! This is truly a dire situation we find ourselves in. But even so, I'm almost excited about it. There's something beyond compare about history happening right before our eyes. I'd rather history back away from me for a brief moment, but I'm glad someone's enjoying the happenings. Hmm, enjoying feels wrong. I'd more say I'm simply enriched by it. It is an experience unlike any other I've known. And I specifically wish to keep it alive for others to witness. Truly, that is the beauty of my art form. Capturing that rare and ecstatic feeling. Ecstatic? I trust that we shall triumph, and it will feel so very ecstatic. But I ask something, Archbishop. Is it okay for you to be here? Ah, you're concerned about Apistia's involvement in Dalcian affairs. Dals and Apistius have long been allies. Wouldn't interceding cause problems? Perhaps it would. But I'd say there's larger pro there's larger problems than letting it slide. There'd be larger problems than letting this slide. Turning a blind eye to injustices is hardly becoming of one of, of his followers. And it is the duty of the fellow man to set a sinner upon the right track. To look at it from a pragmatic lens, it will only be an issue if you fail. And I have witnessed your ability. I have faith in you. In us. Hardly what I imagined you saying, but I appreciate it nonetheless. By the way, I don't remember if I ever thanked you for Yigstra. So, thanks. If anything, you deserve commendation. But let's not get lost in praise. There's much to prepare. I shall write back to Apistia. They deserve to know what transpires. May he guide your preparations well. Okay, so this is bows. There's no master bows here, though. It's kind of lame. Let's see this one first. Okay, this is axes. Eh, I think we're kind of good here. Milady. Frederick, are you still thinking about the others? I'm, I'm sorry. I wish I could have done... Save your pity. We can't change what happened. No matter how fervent our wishes, all we can do is continue to move forward. Dahl speaks of the future and then rips it away from us. That is why they're unforgivable. That's why I'll fight to make sure this never happens again. You'd like that, right? I'm sure you would. Ah, uh, that hurts. Okay, this is Lance's. Cool, uh, alright. Zack, you're up. Greetings, Zack. Milady. I'll keep this brief. I'm glad you're still with us. That's all. Don't want to keep bothering you. I appreciate it. The way I see it, I'll never leave a job half done. Hence, I'm still here. I'm glad to hear. Be off now. Don't concern yourself over me alone. Alright, this is swords. Ooh, brave swords seem kind of nice, actually. Hmm. But bug's a bit tight considering future plans. Damn, I just realized this journey is almost over. Well, become a little old me. 
Weren't you just at some church when we found you? Why not go back? Because that's, ironically enough, boring ass sin. It's been thrilling! Running around, beating up chumps. Clearly I chose the wrong career path long ago. Yes, there'll probably still be things to do after this war. If the revolution has taught me anything, is that nobody's truly happy with change. Whatever we do, whoever we depose, someone's gonna get up in arms about it. And maybe I could be the one to give him a good whack. I'd prefer a future of peace, but I also know that's not always an option. So if it comes to it, I'd be glad to have you on deck. Great! That'll hopefully keep me amused for a bit. And after that, who knows? The future's a funny thing like that. Hey, milady. I just want to say thanks. This has been, well, better than the Lowlands. Of course, you've been an asset to us. Haven't you talked about running off several times? Twas all a bluff. What's that luck for? My whole life, I've had to kick and scratch for every scrap. Honestly, not an asset among those I grew up with. I see. Well, I'm glad you're still here. I... Wish you could do something for your homeland. No need to pretend you care. Most of us hardly do. I do, though. Now that I know people suffer, it's hard for me to truly turn away. Huh. Well, if you insist, I'll try and think of something. But first, we got your asses in here to trounce. Can't make the world better if they're in our way. Ah, hello there. Welcome to our little establishment. We're the out of mind Gladius, Erkelin's finest bar and inn. You look a little bit like you've heard all of this before. I have. I've been here many times. Wait, Lady Blair? It's been so very long. I'm glad to see you well. I know you've got something real big coming, so I'll put in your usual. It's on the house. Thanks for coming back. I suppose I have some time. Thank you. Uh, let's... Yeah, we'll go, like, bottom up. To think. I've gone from a thief worth less than, tra worth less than trash to, well, maybe I'm still a thief. And not worth much. But I feel I've changed, at least somewhat. I'm glad to hear. I know you've long been questioning yourself, but if it makes you feel any better, you've always been a great boon to us. Don't flatter me. Still, I'm glad to know even the worst we can change. I don't know much about who you're fighting now, but do you think they can change? I... I don't know. Part of me wanted to hope so, but I know... I know he won't change. Fair enough. Well, even if anyone can change, not everyone will try. And for you trying, I'm truly glad See, Jeff, that's a carrier development! I will have much to do. All of Halanus must know of these deeds most foul. I know I'm not directly responsible, but still, I feel complicit. To my knowledge, those in power at Garanus were making deals. Many in Halanus make deals, in fact. Researchers travel around, offering gold and supplies for various items. Do you know those crystals you found that recorded the researchers, vo the researchers' voices? There's a cave a few miles from Garanus where they're abundant. We thought nothing of it when they offered financial backing for them. Even if those above you could have somehow known, you couldn't have. And it's as you said, you'll spread the truth of this. You'll make certain this doesn't repeat. That I shall. Only by coming to terms with our grim past. That's how we can confidently step forward into the future. I'll do what I can to ensure our future is one that's just. Milady? Everything alright, Flynn? Quiet. I just wish to thank you for all of this. I don't think I ever would have the left the pistol without you. And seeing... Seeing the world like this has been amazing. That's all. I'll leave you to it then. You've been immeasurably helpful to us, Flynn. So I myself am grateful you've stuck around. Thanks. 
Lady Blair has returned. Praise be. Is there anything you need? I'm sure you need funds. Well, some guy tried giving me this gemstone. Said it was a symbol of love. I didn't feel the same way. He refused to take it back, so it's just been rotting here. I'm sure it's worth something. Uh, don't take me giving this over as a symbol of love, of course. It's just a stone. Got a white gem! Alright, sick. Hey, I'm a lady. I might step out of the city a bit. I think it'd be fun to get a taste of Dulcian Wilds. I'm sure they're not exciting next to the extras. Mayhaps. But we're not in the extra now, are we? Besides, they're new to me. And that's the exciting part. Sometimes it feels like I know every nook and cranny in my home. Ain't a bad thing, but there's not much to surprise me. Here, every tree's a new experience. And I'm sure I'll find a new critter. Well then, good luck to you, Damien. I can't speak much for what you'll find, but I hope something will impress you. Don't worry, I'm sure I'll find something great! This place is nice, but it could use more flowers. I don't disagree. Seeing the world's made me realize this place is... How do I put it? Gordy? And it's not even the worst of dolts. Our body's got a meeting hall lined with gold. Some natural colors would go a long way. I still have some seeds back from back when I was, when I was in Nevion. Funny to think how much has changed since then. It was... scary, Andrean. But I'm here now, and I'm glad for that. And since I was locked up for a while there, I never had a chance to run out of seeds. I guess that's a bright side? If I plant some now, they might bloom by the end of this war. I like the sound of that. It would be fittingly symbolic. I'll start right away then. Where to plant? Hmm. I might just coat every inch of these grounds. Wait, every inch? Just how much seed did he buy? A lot. Things have been running quite alright without you. But again, I guess you could say it's been that way for years. The world kept turning when you were a tiny child, after all. Of course, that means the cat the taxes kept turning, too. And not that I'm complaining, of course. They're very... reasonable. Alright, sure, buddy. Okay, this is Staves and the Big Two. Fuck, did I clear my convoy enough? Okay, this is magic. If nothing else, I don't think I'll be able to actually get much more just because of convoy space. Shit. Funny to think how long it's been since we left. And look at where the two of us are now. It's comforting to be back here. Oh yeah, Ari got a new portrait. I don't know how I didn't cover that. Yeah, that's Aaron. Sorry. I'm truly lucky to be here. Especially with you. You seem exhausted. Hardly. I'm... fine. I'll try and finish up what needs to be done quickly. And then, the two of us are taking some time to ourselves. Whatever we wish to do. If you're sure that, that there'll be time. We're finally back home after many, many months. I will make the time for us. I will make time for us. For you. Sadly, I have to get going, for now. Oh, that's so sweet. But I'll be back before long. I love you. Love you too, Blair. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah! God, I sound like a fucking Tumblr user. That's kind of cringe. Tell me, Blair. I'm curious. Could you have gotten this far without my magnificent presence? What? No need to hold back. You can admit I'm the glue that holds this whole show together. I'm a humble guy. I'd like to think our army's more substantial than that, sustainable than that. I think we all have our own part to play here. That we succeed not because of one of us, but because of all of us. Okay, but what about me? Please, for the love of God, tell me I'm special. I need this! We wouldn't be where we are today without you, Todd. 
truly, you are a shining example to us all. Wahoo! In your case, and you in your face, innumerable losers who've doubted me. Glad to hear you're not among those innumerable, milady. <laughs> so pathetic, man. We've come a long way, haven't we? And yet, we're back where we started. Fighting Dulcian on our Dulcians on our own land. I sometimes shudder to think how, of how this could have gone. Had it not happened upon you and R in those months back. Would I have been drawn into fighting you, somehow? I don't think you would have. Had you been in Father's place in Halanis, I think you would have seen the conflict for what it was. A very generous take. I'd like to think I wouldn't have thrown my life at that cause. I don't even know who I was trying to impress back then. There was a time I thought the name Nilstrom meant anything. I'd say you've given it more than a great meaning. You're too kind, but the way I see it now, everyone who focuses on family names has it wrong. I am not who I, who I am today because I am a Nilstrom. I am who I am because I'm Kenneth. I never needed, I never wanted to hide behind anything. Say, Kenneth, when this conflict is all said and done, Dolph would need someone new at the helm. I think you'd be more than suited to lead us out of the shadows. I'm flattered. I'll give it some thought. But we can't get ahead of ourselves. We've much ahead of us. Of course. But has, as has long been the case, we are Dulce's finest. I'm certain we shall not fail as long as we're side by side. Let us lead Dulce into a golden age. Oh, that's a sick ace support. What is it, young lady? I've put it all together. I've fought several of your sons. And from what Zeke's told me, it sounds like he fought another. Truly, I'm a wretched father for letting them grow up like that. I've let many people down. Them. Viridian. My country. Something inside of me is irreparable. And it breaks everyone I meet. But something else inside of me refuses to stop. I'm convinced that, maybe even after everything I've done, I can bring some good to the world. You've helped us. That's some kind of good, I'd say. Yeah, I guess. Miss Blair, we're doing the right thing, right? I'd like to think so. I guess from a certain point of view, it's not that simple. I can see how we're driven by a desire for revenge. But at the same time, we can't just leave Dalts be. Nor would it be right to bend our knee to them. Not after what they did. At the same time, though, I don't want to hurt the people of Dulce, if I can avoid it. But with the instability that might come of this, this all sounds so complicated. I guess that's what being a hero is. Being able to make the right choice even through this confusion. You could say that. I do truly hope you don't have to make these choices. Well, I'm a true hero, so they'll come easy to me. I'm sure they will. You seem to be making yourself quite at home. Yep, nice place you got. You've got good money. I like that. You don't need to worry about me skimping on your pay. Has that happened a lot? One fine gentleman that hired me attempted to kill me to avoid paying. You'd think that if he thought he could kill me, he could just do what he hired me for himself. I'm quite sure I don't plan on killing you. Ah, don't worry. You're too kind to betray my trust. I've been doing this for years. I can smell treachery where it is. And this whole deal smells like roses to me. Extra dangerous roses that deserve extra pay, but roses nonetheless. Can you leave the upcharging until after we've won? If you insist, lady. <laughs> Do you wish to motivate me? Shouldn't you find somebody who'd be more receptive? I was just going to tell you to keep doing what you're doing. I know you don't like us. I don't get why or why you stay. But I know you're here and that you are among our most skilled. Thanks. Hold up. What is it? You're not the worst person I fought for. I'll take that as the high praise you mean it to be. Don't push your luck, though. 
Are you all right, Alexis? You look very focused. I am standing watch, milady. You never know when a threat will rear itself upon us. I think we're safe for now. Pardon me, but on what grounds? To my understanding, our enemy told us they would not strike. Why should we believe them? I figured they'd have no reason to lie about that. But I guess I also can't put anything past them now. And so I shall stand watch. I just wish to keep us all safe and sound, milady. Very well. Though it makes you feel better, no harm done. At the first sign of danger, I shall shout uproariously. Thanks, Alexis. <laughs> Your Majesty, I wasn't expecting you to be here. It's good to see you've made it. Albacore's Pegasi have been keeping watch of your return. We know of the great ordeal you face. If my son will continue to aid you, then so too shall the kingdom of Albacore. I'm truly glad to hear that. On that note, if you see Hyperius, please present him this blade. During the Hellenian expedition, I had dug up an old favorite of his. As thanks for his service, I had it reforged. Alas, I'm not sure where he went off to. I'll get it to him, don't worry. You try and make time for him though, he served us well. Surely, there are many people I must commend while we're all here. Now then, I won't keep you long. Go and do what you must. Unyielding. Oh, that's the Hyperius perf. Uh, let's go, like, right to left. Oh, there's no dialogue for the throne. Okay. Hmm. Not a bad body of water you got here. Tell me, do we go out to sea? No. I'm pretty sure it's just a moat. Feel free to judge my father's assigned sense all you wish. Hmm. A real man would have dug a trench out to sea. We're quite far. That doesn't sound the most practical. Guess you're not used to towns that aren't ports, though. Nay, nah, lass. Most of the time, I wasn't let in port anyway. He'd bring his most well-mannered men. And my manners ain't well. Well, make yourself at home. It's the least you all deserve for coming this far. Aye, lassie. Thanks for the warm welcome. Both here and before. Hmm. If you think about it, lass, history's repeating. How so? We're walking into another revolution here. Sure, it's for far different reasons than Mebion. But you're still about to tear down an old world order. And I guess I get to fight in two revolutions in my lifetime. Kinda missed it, but not quite that much. I hadn't thought of it quite like that. I'm hardly ready to think about rebuilding all of Dalts. That's how it is. Winning's easy. The hard, part, the hard part's everything thereafter. Who knows, though? Maybe seeing all this play will get Mevion on your side. We like a good kindred spirit. Somehow, I don't think that'll happen so easily. Yeah, probably not. What's that you have there? Seems like a small bow? It's something out of a trick I got some years back. I took it on my first competition victory. It's modeled after a historical bow called the Short Bow. A tiny little bow that can... Well, that's part of the mystery. Scholars can't agree what this bow actually functioned as. Some say it could shoot in small quarters thanks to its small size. Others say that it was intended to shoot several times as fast, since the small size means less travel time for the arms. Interesting. Is that there just a replica? Technically, it's functional, but it's extremely impractical to use. I tried once, and could barely make a shot mere inches away. Though, that was a long time ago. I might have improved. I'm sure I have. Maybe now I'll be able to work with it. It does feel strangely powerful. If you think you can work it, and that'll serve us well, I trust your judgment. Good luck, Charlie. I like to hope I won't need luck, but thank you. If only I used Charlie. Glad to see you're still with us, Hyperius. Are you surprised? Don't count out the old man, young lady. Hardly. You just throw yourself into com enough combat that... Well, it's impressive you're still going so strong. I've seen hundreds of battles in my time, young lady. Remember the late Tarquin Scar? That was all me, during some joint military activity. And that's hardly all. I've crossed blades with the strongest knights of old Mevion. I've taken on the harsh wilds of the land for his highness's sake. 
This wall has nothing on me. Uh, forgive my fit of passion. Of course, you've done well protecting Zeke, and I ask you continue to do so. But of course, and I shall also ensure your survival. You are a dear friend of His Highness, after all. Ah, milady, what brings you? Just checking in. Are you holding up all right, Stefan? I... I think I am. I won't say it's been an easy road, but it's one that brought our knights, our friends back. But we can't rest with them merely being back. We must ensure our continued safety, even if it means fighting against dolts. I'm still sorry for dragging you this far along. Don't be. This is my duty. Just as I have these, these many months, I shall serve to my fullest. I guess some things never change. I guess so. If I fall, it's truly been an honor. And I'm glad to have saved our companions. Milady, you've been through so much already. Please, rest. You've... I cannot rest. Not while they're still out there. I have to keep fighting. For everyone. Even... even if it... You're not going to try and stop me? I won't disrespect your wishes. You've given more than I could ever expect. But if you wish to keep pushing yourself, just please be safe. We don't... I don't want to lose more to this. And yet, the world keeps taking. Even so, I'll fight for everyone who has brought me this far. I know the fight ahead is not one you wish for, Joseph. You don't have to join us if you do not wish. I'd understand completely. It pained me to fight against my homeland, but it bring greater pain to ignore the crimes. As I have dutifully, dutifully fought, so too shall I continue to fight. Fear not for my feelings. As long as I live, and as long as my will carries me, I shall not let any harm come to Erkelen. I shall follow you to kingdom come, milady. If you insist on fighting, thank you for your presence, Joseph. Any time. I thought I could trust him. If you don't wish to fight against Alcorian, I understand. Even after what he's done, he was still your mentor. And then that leaves me complicit in horrors upon your people. I know what I must do. Even so, I... I don't know if I can do it. I'm sorry, Blair. Part of me doesn't want to do this either. He was always so kind to me. But that's why we have to keep moving forward. We have to learn what changed, what happened to him. I know it hurts. I'm still terrified. That this is the natural conclusion. That I'll become like them. Cold, heartless, riding off lives for nothing. I won't let that happen. I've learned many things from you, and I know how kind you truly are. I have faith that you'll do better than Drayen. And if you ever begin to question yourself, I'll keep you on the right path. There's nothing for you to fear. Eh, to think I've learned so much from you. I truly needed that. It's the least I could do after what you've done. We're more than peers in magic, after all. I'd call you one of my closest friends. It is truly an honor. Now then, there's much for me to prepare. Even if I can't save him from what he's become, I can fight for something he'd be proud of. Miss Blair, come try this! You're only two years younger than me. Why call me Miss? Force of habit. Anyway, try this. What is this? It's pulsating. It's a tasty snack that, if I'm right, will bolster our caster's power. Either that, or it'll instantly turn them into a fine powder. What? It's perfectly safe. Uh, probably. I... I think I'm good. Suit yourself. Mmm, tastes good. I'll see if I'm still in one piece in ten seconds. Well. Good for you, Rose. <laughs> You're Tobias, right? I think I've heard tales of you. Even when we were invading Yigstra, you were something of a legend. Sorry about that whole war, by the way. You've got to apologize for lass. Not like you were the aggressor. But yeah, my name still gets around. Won't say I'm not humble, but I also won't turn down praise. Well then, 
regale me with a first-hand story. Hmm. How about the one time I wrestled down a bear entirely barehanded? Well, that'd be a lie. It wasn't just a one-time event. Uh, how much do you wrestle bears? More than any fella my age should, but I'm still up and kicking. There's this one persistent grizzly who lives near my cottage. Almost feels like I gotta shoot him off weekly. Name the guy Hank. Something of a rival, I guess. That's quite spectacular. And that's only my bear-related tales. I'll tell you some more after we get dulls like a tra thrashing. Yeah. To think I wouldn't be here today if it hadn't come upon me. Truly, our voyagers crossing paths these months ago, those months ago was destined. If you're looking at it like that, my entire journey built up to that. If King Brandle never sought me, or if I fell to Lazarus, but it's hardly worth dwelling on what didn't come to pass. Of course, the intermingling of our lives, all of our friends' lives, it's all due to random happenstance. Fate, if you will. And it's up to us to give those crossings meaning. And so again, I am truly grateful to have known you. Are you doing alright, Avon? Quiet, Blair. The magic you showed me back then is way better than swords. I'm still a bit disappointed that you couldn't, I couldn't give you anything as good. Not to say the flower you're wearing isn't nice. Or just, it's hardly enough. I would strongly disagree. I think it's quite lovely. But if you're insisting it's not a fair trade, well, you're the well-traveled one. I'm sure you've seen things I'd like. I'll admit, I didn't get out of out of memory much before this. It's more of a want, I guess. Well then, we'll travel together. That'll give you plenty of time to think of something. Uh, are you sure? I've realized myself that there's a lot I want to see. No better way to do it than with a friend I get, I say. I'd be honored to have you. We should probably settle matters here first. That's all the more reason for us to prevail. As expected, this hasn't been opened in years. I was told years ago to unseal this to change my fate. It never made sense, but there's no harm trying. And open. Uh, sword? Since when did my father use swords? There's a pair of notes attached to it. Let's see. For my lovely lady, let our strengths be as one. My wits and skill have crafted a sword worthy of you. I name it Hope Singer. Let it protect that which you hope hold dear. Your homeland. Your husband. Your newborn daughter. I shall be off to Halanis, but I will come back to you. So this was a gift from Mother. And this is the other note. She left. She left me. Let that be your lesson, child. You're the only one you can trust. If I am gone when you find this, then I am vindicated. Do as you wish with this blade. It is worthless to me now. You're wrong. My bonds got me to where I am now. I hardly knew you, but I know I won't repeat your mistakes. This sword will lead Dolts out of the shadows. I swear it. Hope Singer! Okay, wait, unyielding Hyperus, one death res for three missing HP. That's fucking great. Hopla, uses strength plus magic. Targets res. Oh, fuck, it's this thing. Oh, I recognize. Oh, god. It's a fight against save users. Shit. Say, what's your favorite food? Are you plotting something? Hey, you guys took me in and it kept me alive this long. At least I could do a street to my town sometime. Hmm. I haven't a great idea of, fa of a favor currently. I suppose our ra rations have damaged my palate. Truly a terrible fate. Hmm. I'll have to feed everyone anyway. I'll just throw together as much as I can. With as much variety as I can. Surely there'll be something you'll enjoy. There's quite a few of us. I sure can handle all that cooking. Please, milady. It's what I was born to do. I can handle it. Well then, good luck. Oh no, yo! Copyright claim! Hello, young lass. Might I spin you a tale? One recounting my legacy of sorrow. What's the matter, Horatio? The witch in our ranks, Simone Georgios. She has shackled my power. 
by forcing me to cast aside my dear, the trope. Now, it sits alone in a Hellenian lake. A tr fuck you. <laughs> the drowned king of the realm. A king whose last wish is to be reunited with the bearer of his will. Do you want a new sword? Blasphemy! The trope is one. The trope is all. Without the trope, what? What am I? I. I'm. Are you all right? The vessel shall persist. Now, fell one. Let that which is in you bear your salvation. Empty your mind and picture fire. Picture how it flickers and bellows. How the smoke it belches forth. Curls and curls again into the night sky. Watch as the watch the smoke as it rises ever higher, higher until it's indistinguishable from the clouds that obscure the stars. Burst through those clouds. Witness the infinite that lies beyond. Take that infinite into your soul. Transcend onto this infinity. Reach out for what you desire. It shall be all be yours. Horatio, what is that? Don't you see, lass? That's the sacred sword of the trope brought back onto me! What's that? The trope? You wish to fight together once again? Of course! I shall assent to your every desire! We are bound as one, man and blade! Heed my call, and I shall heed yours! No need to worry for me, milady. I've no idea what just transpired, but I'm glad your sword's back. Try not to lose it again. We are inseparable now. None shall sunder us! Milady, what is it, Athena? Just making sure you're well. It would reflect quite poorly on Apistia, you were you not. Hmm, on that note, isn't Apistia allied with Dulce? Where does that leave you? The Archbishop gave me instructions, and so I shall follow them. Is that not what doing an adequate job is? You're right. Apologies for questioning you. That's all right. I know you mean well, but my loyalty shall not waver. If you're all right, go prepare. I shall be fine myself. The last five. Are you ready to give Thralls a thrashing, Blair? Even were I not, you seem to be more than enthusiastic. Of course I am! Do you know how hard I want to thrash him? Those bastards hurt one of my closest friends! I want to put them all in their place twelve times over! I'm glad to know you care so much about me. I always have and always will, Blair. Now, get on with your duty. I'll be here when you return. Milady, I must thank you for helping to keep our prince safe. Would... That'd be right to say. If anything, any danger he's been is because of me and my problems. Perhaps one could argue that. But as he himself has stated, he couldn't let you fight this alone. It has ultimately been his choice to fight, and either way, you have done all you can to protect him. On behalf of all of Elba Corps, you have my deepest gratitude. And you have mine back. For standing by my side this entire campaign. Both your whole land and you specifically, Rachel. I am simply doing my duty, but I appreciate it. Hey, milady, question. Do you think I've changed in this journey? How so? I, I'd say we've all changed in some way. Well, obviously we've grown stronger. That's our way of the world. Fight to grow so we can keep fighting. But I'm more men as a person. Is the young, wide-eyed Cassius you knew, want, you once knew, gone? Is that Blair gone? Let's keep the focus on you. I'd say you're still you, Cassius. Lovable and wilf and witty goofball. Sure, your wit's tight on and you take things more seriously. But that doesn't mean you're a completely new person now. I guess. If that gradual change keeps up, will I still be me? Don't overthink this. I think you're just maturing. Experiencing character growth. Growth? Or metamorphosis. See, you're still your absurdist self. Huh, guess so. 
I wonder how Yitch has been. Clearly not great, but at the same time, he's still on the map. Kinda. Gonna be interesting going back. I'm sorry for what faults, what I have done. They're hardly to blame. If it weren't for you sparing Mikey, I'd probably be worm food now. I'm too cool for worms. It's still not right. I'll be honest, I'm not super attached to the extra. Sure, nice place, born and raised, but the world's bigger. For the heck of it, how's this sound? If you're so concerned about Yixra's future, I'll live here until, it, until it's back up and on its feet. I am your sins manifest. Huh? That sounded better in my head. I don't understand how it could have. But if you wish to live here, I don't think that would be a problem. Excellent! Just try not to cry when I eventually leave. I'll see what I can do. What are you writing there? I'm just preparing a speech. We're about to undertake, well, I won't sugarcoat it, an extremely dangerous battle. I don't expect us all to survive. Knowing that, I still have to drum up hope and morale in our men. It's hard, especially after saving everyone, telling them to go back into the field. A field that may very well claim their lives. I suppose it's not unlike what you face constantly. The fact that you've managed to guide us all this far it's proof you're something special, my lady. I ought to get back to this. Who'd think I'd get caught up on simple words? I'm glad someone as considerate as you guides our forces. I know you'll inspire them all. You flatter me, my lady, but I'll try. Alright, that should be everything. Holy shit, it's been almost an hour. Well, fi almost 50 minutes of just a chapter alone. Perhaps it's easily taking it over an hour. But now. It's time. We have a date with destiny. Now, based on the Excel sheet, we need 17 secret books and 18 icons. So, 53 minus 17. 30, 36 is our breakpoint. It's time to buy! Okay, and now the Apestus icons. Minus 18. And we're good! I could buy things, but... Just trust me on this. I have ideas. I very much have ideas. <laughs> oh, I might buy a fourth buy though, actually. No, wait, a rune stuff, actually. I have seen, like, the next map, like, a little bit of it. So, hmm. Would that be very helpful? Have you talked to everybody pressing? Are you certain you're prepared? We are. I believe so. Alright. I believe I saw my father here. We'll meet with him and strategize. I think our best move, our only move, really, is waiting for them to come to us. Then we make our stand. We'll have watch posted constantly, so we'll be ready when, they, when they're here. And after that, once we weather the assault, we march on our Bodia. I shall have Elbakor's finest guard your 
But on your flank as you march. I appreciate it. Do your best to keep him out of combat. If if this all fails, I don't want Elvacore dragged into this. We shall not fail. I'm sure of it. I shall remain here awaiting your safe return. I thank you. Well then, I'll be off. We don't know how much time more how much time we have, and I'm not going to waste it. Thank you, father. And I'm sorry for all of this. I keep dragging people into conflicts way beyond even what I can even I can handle. It's all right. You're hardly dragging anyone along. They wish to fight for you. A just young man like you. They fight knowing the risk they carry, that they might not return home. And still, they fight. Why am I the one that they fight for? Surely there's someone better than me. More brave, more just. Someone who deserves it. I, too, felt that. I wish I could say more besides. It gets, e gets easier. It never gets easy. But it gets easier. We're back. It feels strange to say after everything. But we're all back. Would you expect anything less from your finest, sir? I suppose I shouldn't. But it's still unreal, in a good way. Even so, it's not over yet. We must continue to fight. That you must after what you've been through. It is an injustice beyond any I have known. But maybe, once this is all done, we can rest easy. Knowing that we've created a better world than this. I'm sure we will, sir. That's why I've joined the Knights. Why I've come so far with you. Because I know that someday, some good will come of our tribulations. I truly hope that to be the case. Let us prepare. Thank you for everything, sir. You've come far, bud. That we have, Natasia. How did you get to be here? How did we get to be here? You want me to give you an answer? Some crap about destiny and all that? Hardly. It's just interesting to think. From afar, one would never have expected our paths. And now, and how they're entwined. Door. At least I'm consistent. Besides, that sounds like the sort of thing Blair would say. Would you call her a dork? D don't bring her into this! Still, as much as things change, we're still us. <laughs> I like to think I'm a better man than I once was. Or that, at the very least, I can become better. Still on one up one-upping your father? Is it wrong? Spiteful? Is it all I want now? Well, as someone who's known you for far too long, you'll trounce his legacy. Thanks. Just don't forget to let me in on some trouncing. Your old man always seemed a bit of an ass. I wouldn't mind tearing his works to shreds. Don't you worry. There'll be plenty for you. Good. That almost makes up for, me, for, you, for you making fun of Blair and I. Almost. Be good, Kenneth. I'll pull some strings with her. You'll find yourself the unluckiest man in all adults. I'm sure I will. Oh, I really love the fucking writing. God. It's great. We're alive. Can't quite believe it. The four of us, together again. We haven't separated. Really, it's your brother and his friend. They're the weaklings here. I resent that. I don't deny it, but I resent it. Why aren't you denying it? Anyway, what's next for us? Finish this war, then back to the extra? You're making us sound like generic soldiers. At the end of the day, we are. A generic soldier could hardly contend for the throne like you, love. That's just hypothetical, currently. Well, whatever you choose, we'll be in your corner. That's right! I resent being called generic, too. But that's beyond the point. Being my friend's sister's lover is about as close as one can be! I think you got more than a little off track, Harbin. Sonia, you're bound to be my sister-in-law. Can't go letting you down when you've come this far. Thank you, three. We're quite the family, aren't we? I suppose we are. 
Come, Mikey, spar with me. You need the help. Ah. Uh, you'll be fine. Make sure he's fine, love. We'll see. What about me? Do I just watch this happen? Run, pal. Save yourself. I'll spar with you, Carbon. Don't think it'll be any easier, though. Any easier, though. Mikey? If I die, it's all your fault. So it is. Nice knowing ya. Same here. God, I love the right. Ah, oh, these are really nice character moments. What the fuck did Retina take to do this? I'm still amazed to see you alive. You know I'm too amazing to die. Huh, I guess so, Rose. Are... Are you coming home? You mean after this war? Oh, of course I am. I know what happened to the mercenaries. How... How close you were to that fate. I'm scared, thinking about it. You're scared? Imagine how I must feel. But I'm alive. So alive. I... I know. It's your choice. It's hard not to worry. But I can't stop you. All I can do is cling to your side and keep you safe. Just... Please come home for real. Someday. Alright, brother. Layla! Have you met Toby? Funny story about that kid. Turns out the lass is my long lost daughter. That's almost unbelievable. Small world, I guess. Met her months ago now. Frankly, it's so unbelievable it almost makes perfect sense. Truly, who'd think I'd have a more real relation to the man than you? Yeah, I'm almost jealous. There's enough me to be both a part and not uncle, kids. Truly, I'm flattered. Trust me, he's a sweetheart. You can't escape him. I'm flattered, kids. But you don't need to sell her on me. Sure, old man. I'm happy to hear that, kid. What, her calling you old man? Guess it's endearing. Now then, I'm sure you're all- Oh, I see her smiling. Oh, that's really cute. Now then, I'm sure you're all hungry. I got some premium grub ready. Fantastic! You've just got to try Toby's food. If you insist. It insists upon you. Ha! Ah, that it does, Zack. It's good to see you again. I was there. I trailed the truth through Halanus. I was... I saw the massacre. I could have done something. I should have done something. Instead, I was a coward. One more onto my legacy of mistakes. I'm truly sorry. I know how happy you two were together. You both deserved better. Do you really think you could have made a difference? Would you have been the deciding factor to save their lives? Viridian would rather you not die for nothing. Thank you for everything you've done for them. Where are you headed? I need to return to Leedstrom. There's loose ends I need to go and tie up. The, there has to be something left untainted by him. Something I can use to bring this whole damn thing to an end. You seem intense. Good luck, Kenneth. Thank you, but luck's not what I need. It has never been what I needed. I'll try to return before hell breaks loose. But I can't promise anything. I understand. Come back safe. I shall. You've left me one hell of a legacy to unpack. But I'll overcome it. Like I've overcome all that's faced me. No force and indulge will stop me from tearing and tearing what you've done down. From forging my own path. My own future. My own tomorrow. I must be off. Let us hope this will all be worth it. Well, figured you'd be here. 
And I think now would be a good time for the two of us to begin. We've no idea how much longer until the invasion arrives. And I'm sure you're anxious to understand. I am. Follow me then. I have a spot in mind just outside the city. Do you not trust me? Fair enough. No, I do. I'm just... It's just... I'm uneasy. I'm just uneasy. It will be alright. I will not harm you. I simply wish for you to... Flourish. Let us depart. Title screen! Beautiful scene, isn't it? it reminds me of... 13? 13 years ago. After leaving you. I had stopped at a lake much like this. Thought about what my actions would lead to. It's quite on the nose, really. Perhaps I'm trying too hard myself. To make this all mean something bigger, I mean. But enough about me. What do we do now? Relax yourself, Lirel. Close your eyes. Alright. What is it that you see? What? I... see nothing. Then let that nothingness be what grants you understanding. The tapestry that forms this world. The endless weaves that come together to create this land and all within. You. The powers you bear. They are a snag in this tapestry. A snarl that stands in defiance of this world. The threads of the world that you bear. You can grasp at them. Take hold of them. Unravel them. Reshape them. Within Drayen, we kept the magical blade of quality unmatched. An implement with which to hone the abilities of our... subjects. You yourself have used this blade. Perhaps you may not recall it. Even so, within yourself, there may be whispers of it. Bring it within your grasp. A sword that I don't recall. On the other side of the continent. How am I... Unravel threads. Rewrite what is and is not. The animus that binds life is something we're all linked to. With you, we've simply strengthened that link. Whatever you will shall be made true. Don't fear this, child. Perhaps you never wanted any of this. And for that, I suppose I should apologize. But we are not 13 years in the past. We are in this moment. You can run away from this all, or embrace the hand you've been dealt. Prove to me that you can make something spectacular out of it. Prove to yourself. Make this all mean anything. I've lived a life not knowing what my purpose is. Is this why? Are you all why? Then I'll use this to tear it all down. Well done, Lorel. You have been an excellent subject. Where are you going? You're the pinnacle of Project Valkyrie here. You already know what you can do. Continue to impress me. So this has been me all along. But what does this truly have to change? But what does this truly have to change? I am Arn Lorel. I was before this, and I will continue to be. All this is. It's another path for me to take. Another way to protect what I hold dear. I truly do feel powerful. Perhaps she was right. I can make something of this. Not for her sake, but for mine. My companions. I will fight with everything I have within, for their sakes. Animus. She mentioned something of that. And the Valkyrie. I shall see what equipment I can find in Erkelin. There is much for me to rise to, but I will never back down. My future is mine to control. God Holy Brand. Here we fucking go! Alright, Aaron, show me the gains! Da -da -da -da. Oh, ho, 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 ho. okay. And that is 25x. Excellent. Next time, we come face to face with thoughts. Don't forget to like and sub. I'll see you all then. Bye bye.